presents Pete the surfer Hi, and welcome to Pete the surfer -Roo. Ready for another great adventure and fun time? I'm Kim, your MC. What you are about to see is a real true blue Australian family viewing visual series with interviews, fun packs, light-hearted humour, learning experiences, and it's all full of laughs. Unbelievable interviews and stories, spills, energy, and adrenaline pumping featuring sports, salutes, health, Renos, competitions, great locations, heaps of nature and wildlife, special events and heaps more. Featuring special guest MC, Sean, and your host, Pete the Surferoo. Coming up on Pete the Surferoo, renovation tips on the Renaroo. Then we go out and check out some special events from around Australia. Coming up on Pete the Surferoo, renovation tips on the Renaroos. Hey guys, and welcome to the Renaroos. Now we spend a lot of our life making food in the kitchen. So we've got to have a nice kitchen to spend that time in. Now we've come to these people here, Kitchens Plus, to get a kitchen installed, and we're gonna show you the process from day one right through to the day it's finished. Come with me, meet the guys, and check it out. Let's do it. Guys, point of contact. Sandy, how are you? Very nice to meet you. Now Sandy, we're going to take the viewers through from the very first day we meet you and then where do we start? We start exactly where we are now of course, at okay. our showrooms. So we wander customers through the showroom and show them all the different features of all our kitchens in the showroom. So um, why don't we do that? Sounds like a good idea. What do you reckon viewers? Let's do it. Now Sandy, we are in the heart of Kitchens Plus here at the moment. Now, we come in and we have a look around to see what we want. Can you tell us a bit about the kitchens? Absolutely. Now, we'll start with number one. I quite like this kitchen. It's quite appealing. It's very bright, you know. It's good for those places that are dull inside. That's right. Can you explain a bit about this one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this door is a, a, a full gloss door. It's a it's a colour called Mountain Pepper. We have a, a nice deep feature, a big deep router in the door, so it adds a bit of style to the kitchen. Most kitchens nowadays are very standard in colours, very basic colours, because people can add add the colours with their with their bits and pieces. Uh, this particular one has a stone bench top. See the stone bench top, of course, as you can see, and a glass splashback. With the uh, stone benches, are they very common or are they a good thing to have? Absolutely, uh, we've found a huge turnaround from moving away from laminate to stone and if people decide to cut a sandwich on it, they're not going to mark the, the bench top like a laminate does. Okay. And that means long lasting too guys. Let's move on to the next kitchen. Absolutely. This is one of our appliance cabinets. Uh, customers love to tuck their toasters and kettles and appliances out of the way so we have a, a cabinet with the bifold doors to tuck, to tuck the doors out of the way so you can get easy access to your, your products and then when you're finished uh, you can clean it up at a later date, you just close it up 
It keeps it neat and tidy because they are a door. The biggest innovations in kitchens today is drawers. More drawers is uh, so much easier for customers to access their products, uh, especially with the drawers of today. They're a full extension runner, so the whole drawer comes out, and when you close the drawer, it's an anti-slam system. Uh, so you can put your crockery into the drawers as well, like we've done here far, far better than the old drawers that used to slam. And as of course, with the introduction of corner drawers, it accesses that corner right deep in the bottom. So you can put pots and pans, whatever you like in there. It's much, much easier again than a corner cupboard where things get lost. In this kitchen, we're showing that customers that you don't need to have handles in a kitchen. Uh, it's called our C-channel kitchen. So the channel actually runs along the cabinet so you, all you need to do is put your fingers in there and you can open the drawer. Uh, overhead cabinets, the doors are dropped, so you can just open it from underneath. And as you can see, it's got the nice soft closing uh, doors as well, so nothing slams. It also has a stone bench top with a nice glass splash back. Very, very clean, very minimalistic. We have a lot of customers that have uh, small kitchens uh, that need to make their kitchen look bigger. Uh, so this is a perfect example of that. We've got a nice pantry in the corner uh, that still holds a lot of things, but obviously doesn't take as much uh, space. It's, it's just a beautiful little kitchen, so we keep it white, so it keeps it open, it keeps it bright, and it keeps it looking bigger. For customers that have a country-style home or have a Queenslander, this kitchen is perfect for those, uh, as we have country-style doors with a timber look top. They can have it either in the natural timber, or, or of course your laminate, or your stone bench top as well. In this area we show clients different types of pantries. Uh, one of the uh, more old-fashioned version obviously is your corner pantry, uh, which is plenty of storage, walk-in. Uh, the other one is a pull-out pantry idea where you can have drawers that pull out. They can be made any size. Uh, as we custom make all our kitchens, we can make them to suit. Uh, and then also our latest one, which is an individual pull-out pantry where you pull out the individual baskets and access those. Okay, Sandy, I'm feeling really hungry now with that great tour you took us on. Now, there's something really important about all this. Being Aussie, this is really exceptional. You guys actually make these kitchens here. Absolutely. We're Gold Coast uh, through and through. We uh, manufacture all our own cabinets, so they're all custom made here locally. Uh, we design, we build and install all our own kitchens. So everything is Kitchens Plus right through, and which is obviously Australian. You can't get much better than that. That is great because later on, upcoming episodes, we're actually going to sneak down to the manufacturing right. of the kitchens to show you that it really is Aussie made kitchens. That's right. Kitchens Plus. That's it. Kitchens Plus. Sounds great, Sandy. Thank you. It was a great tour. Thank you very much. And guys, we'll see you in our next episode of Kitchens Plus. The Renaroos. See you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>
we're going to see a lot of you on the show? A little bit. Between each act, we'll come out and give a little intro. Sounds good, mate. Tell people what's happening. Now, just a bit of a preview of what's going down tonight. Okay, we'll start with Drums of Hope. These are drums played by Manipuri drummers. Manipuri is a state in northeastern India. Mm -hmm. This will be followed by classical Indian dance. Can you explain a bit what, what the classical is too on, on each thing? Yeah, this is an ancient dance form right. from India. Um, some say that it comes from higher planets. It right. was imported here to Earth. The, the dancers who perform, they are both from Moscow, Russia. Wow. And they become very expert in this very ancient dance form. Then and we have this martial artist from yes. Estonia. He, he swings swords and a stick. Wow, sounds amazing. It is. It's yeah. impressive. He performs the style of martial arts from something new called Karayuku. We have a contemporary drama. Right. It's a pantomime, but it's based on this ancient text, the Bhagavad Gita, it's over 5,000 years old. Wow. So it's a bit philosophical, the Bhagavad Gita, but the pantomime just brings it to life on stage in a really engaging way. We're all dying to see what's going down. We've seen a bit of what's going on tonight, but we're going to check out some more of uh, the events, each by one by one. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you really going to enjoy yourself. So, what do you think so far? Hmm. Really good. Guys, what do you reckon, eh? There's more to come. What do we got to You've go? You've got plenty more to go. You've just seen some of the segments. You've still got some yoga and drama and martial arts. Sounds good. I'm really enjoying this food. I'm going to hoe into this, guys. Check out what's coming up. We'll see you shortly. Woo! Now, these dudes here are from Manipur in India, and they have got a really good act coming up. It's drumming but drumming really explosive stuff with lots of energy, lots of acrobatics in there too. And here it comes, the boys from India. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Bula. That's right, yes. Mate, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Mr. Sharma. Nice to meet you. Guys, what do you reckon about the show? Oh, very, very good. And how are you enjoying the show, mate? Oh, very good, very good indeed. Yeah. Enjoying great food, great company. Thank guys, you. let's go back to the show. Yeah, thank We've you. got some more coming up. Check you soon, guys. Woo! Guys, our next dude is Mr. Dina Dayal. How are you, mate? Happy to be here. Now, mate, you're Mr. Kung Fu. Very exciting stuff, got lots of stuff happening, very energetic. Mate, just tell the viewers what you're actually going to be doing here tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to show some Indian, genuine Indian martial arts. So, mate, we haven't seen much Indian martial arts before. We've seen uh, Muay Thai, kickboxing, all that sort of stuff, so this is totally different. 
Actually, all martial arts originates from India. Wow. You didn't know? No, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, the original, the science of war and the martial arts, they all come from an uh, ancient uh, Vedic uh, scripture called uh, Tanur Veda. Tanur Veda. Tanur Veda. Tanur Veda. Tanur Veda. Tanur Veda. It's yeah. like Ayurveda, which is a science that deals with uh, health. Yes. Uh, and also there's Tanur Veda. It's a science of uh, war. Wow. Yeah. Now you studied this over in India? Yes, I spent yeah. some years in India. And now you're bringing it to Australia to show the people what it's all about. Exactly, yeah. And next we have Mr. Gora. How are you, mate? Not too bad, not too bad. Mr. Gora, pantomime and drummer. Now, mate, tell us a bit about what you do. Uh, well, I, I play the drums in the opening music session. The is Kirtan, Sacred Chants. So I play a, a clay Indian drum for the beginning and the end of the show. We have like sacred chanting. So I'm the drummer, the drummer man. Cool. And then uh, we also have a pantomime with drama, and uh, we've been practicing that for about two weeks before we start touring. It was organized by a Canadian man, uh, okay. back in Mark Swan, and uh, he got us all together. Half of us had been in drama groups before, the other half knew nothing about drama. Wow. But somehow he mixed us all together and we came up with like a really great show. Now you have like dancing guys and girls? Yeah, we have guys and girls. We all wear this very similar costume mm -hmm. and uh, we all play multiple roles. So it's like a mixture between drama and pantomime. Uh, some of us speak, some of us don't speak. Okay. And the drama is called the Gita. So it's based on the uh, the Bhagavad Gita, which is like the it's the main scriptural text for you know for, right. for India. So just basically, what's the story about in the drama? Basically, the whole drama is. Uh, is basically bringing to life the philosophical message of the Gita. Mm -hmm. The Gita is quite a heavy philosophical book. Yeah. Visually very easy to grasp. You know? Guys, welcome back. Third serving here. Big show, two hours, man, you know. Gotta get that energy bulk up, you know. Guys, the yoga session. What did you think? Relaxing. It was totally awesome. Like seeing those guys, the way they performed that yoga, it really sort of put me in a state, you know, where I felt really peaceful and just took me away somewhere else. It was fantastic. Okay, guys, we've got Shivanjali and Miss Bali. Great, I got it right. And these girls are our dancers, of course. She's our dancer and our translator. Now, we're going to start with the first question of whereabouts are you from? That's good to see She's coming from Russia. Wow, that's a yeah. fair way away for this event. It is, yeah. And how long have you been with Hare Krishna? How long have you been with Hare Krishna? She joined Hare Krishna moment around So Hare Krishna is very big in, in Russia? Hare Krishna is a bunch of Russian in Russia. Yes, it's yeah. big. And um, before Hare Krishna, were you just doing normal office person or what was she doing before? Does she use her talents with Hare Krishna? Yes. Yeah, that's good to see. Dessert time, guys. Now we've seen lots of good stuff. The best is yet to come. Yoga. Now, good way of concentration and good for stress. Raja and Lal. Lal. All the way from Russia as well. Guys, how are you? Yeah, good. Good? The handshake? Okay. Land of Costa Zoo. Do they know Costa Zoo, the yeah, boxer, famous boxer? Yes. We did interview with him as well. Now, guys, can you tell us a bit about uh, yoga? What are we expecting to see tonight with the yoga? They will see what helps to get rid of the fear. At problem. From problems. At trudnosti. From different difficulties. At беспокойств. И получить умиротворение. А также настроение, которое дает человеку возможность ощутить себя. Душой. 
Now, the guys do the yoga together on stage? Yes. And naturally twins? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, for people that have never done yoga, is it very hard to, to join in and do it? Вначале это может быть трудно, но если практиковать постоянно, то это... In the beginning it could be a little bit difficult, but if people do it regularly, they pick up like that gets easier. Принцип йоги он такой, вначале трудно, а потом становится легко. This is the principle of yoga, it's difficult in the beginning and easy in the end. В этом заключается принцип счастья. And it's also the principle of happiness. That's the most important part of life because our life is not very long and full of stress. We have, we need smiles, more smiles, everyone's so stressed out nowadays. So relaxation, that's the big thing. And now with, with yoga, we get people from all walks of life. Yes. So guys, watching out there, if you're stressed out and you need relaxation, listen to these two guys, they know what they're talking about. We'll see more of them on uh, the show tonight. Check it out. Thanks guys for coming and we'll see you on stage. Cool. Thanks guys, all the best, Hare Krishna. Guys, enjoy. Let's go check out the show. Hey dudes, how are you? I told you I'll be back. Now we've got Mr. Bookman here. He's just briefly going to tell us about what all these books are about. Okay. So this is an amazing book. This was spoken 5,000 years ago. It's called the Bhagavad Gita. And it's a conversation between Krishna and his friend Arjuna. Krishna shows how the body changes from boyhood to youth to old age. But we, the person in the body, we continue to exist all through the changes of this body. And that means we're going to continue to, to exist even when this body finishes. It also talks about karma. What goes around comes around. Sounds good, mate. That's not true. We also have some other books on vegetarian cooking. Mate, that's uh, very important, vegetarian. As we all know, Hare Krishna is vegetarian and, of course, really good for the body. So you've got quite a few different sorts of books there for, for the viewers out there. And of yeah, course, uh, yeah. yeah, these are really good books. When you read these books, you can find out some real truths about life. And that's what it's all about, mate. Things that make your life go better. Mate, it was a pleasure talking to you. Likewise. It's a pity we can't talk about all your books because you've got so many different things there, mate. Yeah. And they're uh, very educating for our viewers out there, but they're dying to see some more of the show. Yeah. Guys, check it out. I'm out of here. See ya. It's that time again to say goodbye from Pete the Surfer Roo and his team. I'm Kim, your MC, keep it G. I'm Sean, your MC. Till we meet again, bye. Thanks guys. Thank you. Mate, that was unreal. <laughs> <laughs>